John Ross was a three-star recruit out of Southern California and played for the Washington Huskies for four seasons. While many saw him as a potential first-round pick in the upcoming draft, he gained national attention by blowing up the NFL Combine by setting the 40-yard dash record with a blazing 4.22 second time. Elite speed and great ball tracking ability make up his game, and based on his size I think he should start his career as a slot receiver. He would be able to work underneath while having protection off the line of scrimmage in order to take the top off of defenses with his speed. In the NFL, I think his best fit would be with the Tennessee Titans at pick 18. They need someone to pair with Richard Matthews to give them that downfield explosive threat. Ross could take over for Kendall Wright in the slot while working his way to play on the outside as well to vertically stretch defenses for Marcus Mariota. So what grade would we give Ross? We'll have that answer for you in just a moment. Alright, you've waited long enough. We are giving Ross a late first round grade and here's why. In his first two seasons with the Huskies, he showed the athleticism to play on both sides of the field as both a wide receiver and as a cornerback. Before the 2015 season, he tore his ACL in his left knee and redshirted for the season. As a redshirt junior, he gained over 1,100 receiving yards while catching 17 touchdowns. He was also an impact kick returner as well. At Washington, Ross lined up as a slot receiver and split outside. His speed was used all over the field on screens, reverses, and he ran a full route tree. The Huskies loved using him to vertically stretch the defenses, running goes, fades, and post routes attacking the downfield safeties. Passes were almost always underthrown based on his pure speed down the middle of the field. In addition to the main three deep routes, he can also run double moves with quick footwork stress in the safeties. He does a great job of attacking them by turning their hips away from his intended path to break past them. As a route runner on short and medium routes, he showed tight footwork and good flexibility to drop his hips in order to stop on a dime. On out routes, he does a fantastic job of breaking down with little extra steps. He maintains a spatial awareness to keep his feet in bounds to make the catch on the sidelines as well. As a receiver, he is inconsistent at catching the football with his hands. He doesn't drop many passes, but when a ball is thrown into his numbers, he tends to body catch the football, which is just awful technique. Additionally, he tends to double catch a decent number of passes, which can be explained by a small hand size at 8 and 3 quarter inches. For reference, this small hand size is in the bottom 10 percentile for a receiver. Overall, based on his small size standing at just 5 foot 11 and 188 pounds, he struggles against press coverage and can be rerouted by a good push from a defender. Also, he is not good at winning this contested 50-50 passes. The interesting thing is that it's not even about him being outmuscled or outsized by a defender. It's that he often doesn't fight for the pass, preferring to make an over-the-shoulder catch. Instead of this, he needs a turn to try and high point the ball in the air. While I think most of these points are coachable, what is not coachable is his injury history. He has torn his ACL in his left knee, had two meniscus tears in his right knee, and tore his labrum in his shoulder this season. He played through that last injury, and will have to surgically repair it during the offseason. From a pro comparison standpoint, Brandon Cooks from the New Orleans Saints and now the New England Patriots fits him the best. Both have blazing speeds with good tracking ability. Both receivers have the ability to sink their hips into their breaks with vision and creativity to gain yards after the catch. In college, both had issues with double catches and vulnerability to jams and physical play at the line of scrimmage. Some have compared Ross to Deshaun Jackson, who is an elite ball tracker. Out of all the speed receivers to come out in the past few years, I think Ross is the closest to warrant this comparison, but I still believe Cooks is more apt. Well, that's all I have for you. If you like this video and will support the channel, feel free to follow the links to my PayPal and my Patreon accounts. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel Gold.